Adidas 510 have produced some of mountain biking's most iconic shoes, and they continue to innovate using feedback from podium winning athletes and an in-house team of experts. We've come to 510 HQ in Germany to take a closer look at how these industry leading shoes are designed and developed. And who better to join us than UK freestyle mountain biker and 510 sponsored athlete, Matt Jones. So Matt, welcome to the Adidas World of Sports. Thank you. This is the man himself, Adi Dasla. Adi Dasla, he's born in 1900 here in Herzog in Aurach. He's from a shoemaker's family and in the 1920s he started the Brothers Dassler Sports Shoe Company together with his brother Rudolf Dassler. After the Second World War, the two brothers split. Rudolf, he founded Puma. Adi Dassler, he founded Adidas. Let's head in. So, here in the 1960s, in track and field, for example, they changed from like ash or clay-like material yeah. to the new tartan material. But in the beginning, this new tartan material was really slippery. And this outsole should basically suck on the ground. So they're like tiny little suckers? Yeah, they're like tiny little suckers who should suck on the ground to get better traction. What? Today, of course, thanks to 510, we have the Stealth rubber, yeah. like the most stickiest rubber. But back then, he needed the help of these small suckers. So Adi Dazzler was, was really like a sportsman himself, an outdoor yeah. person. Yeah. So he was finding like needs and requirements that a shoe had to fulfill and he yeah. just went out and made it. Yeah. This is the first ever shoe with three stripes. Ever? Ever. Because cool. you can see here, the one in the middle, it is added afterwards. So the original model Weitzer, it had two stripes, this one. Okay. But he added a third stripe, and he did this for better visibility in media. Would have needed a guy like you, because he built that one, that special bike, and there's a drill in the back to work on his product. <laughs> He's about to make a drill spin. He's wearing a uh, full suit and a tie. Uh, That's a job. You're at the birthplace of Adidas, so we really want to show you like the birthplace of Adidas. Oh, take careful. We will open that door. What? This is our it's like a hidden, secret cave. Hi hidden secret Adidasla room. This is how we call it. What? It's um, like Tomb Raider. Yeah. <laughs> Just go all the way down. Hell oh, yeah, is that the original shoemaker table? This is one of his uh, original shoemaker tables and some of his tools, some of his leases and one of his inventions, the shoemaker's light. Matt, welcome to the Futures Lab. It's good to have you and CRC here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick run through on how we work on mountain bike shoes and what, and what we do. My name is Luke Hans. I'm the senior product manager for 510. I've been with 510 since pre-Adidas uh, and still working strong and enjoying every minute of it here with Adidas. So you've really seen the change of kind of collaborating with Adidas and what, yeah. it's, what it's done for 510. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's amazing when you get a chance, the opportunity to come into Future Lab and have access to all the technology that's in this building. It's something that no other mountain bike shoe brand has. So currently we're working on some new clipless technology for like the Hellcat and Hellcat Pro and working with some of the downhill athletes that we have. And what we wanted to do was uh, develop a lighter, yeah. more protective, quicker drying downhill shoe, coolest downhill shoe. And uh, sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Like that's the goal. Yeah, you know, we always want to make the athlete better. And uh, now, more than any time in the past, we have an opportunity to do that. So, what we need to do when we're starting to work on a clipless shoe is really pay attention more to the basis of the shoe. So you start with the last, the last is always first. The last is what you build a shoe off of. Oh yeah. So that creates the shape. And then once we have the last, we need to develop a plate. And the plate on the clipless shoe is probably the most important aspect of the shoe. That's where we can control the stiffness of the shoe. Yeah. And also we have the ability to really drop a lot of weight because that's where a lot of the weight comes from on a clipless shoe. So what we've decided to do is take some technology the Futures Lab had 
with their design of making plates for football or soccer for us Americans, for this American. Uh, so we, we were taking, football. yeah, so we're using some of that technology in our new clipless shoes. And now with the Futures Lab, we have this FEA testing. And so what that gives us the ability to do is work on CADs and different things and then hand it over to Hans. And then Hans can put different material ways in there and we can really see, we, we create different points where we want to find where the stiffness is. And we can really define the stiffness that we want in our shoes and make sure that we get close to that with our physical samples instead of you know, only having the opportunity to make one or two physical samples that we think may be close. Now we have the chance to try like 10 different things and really fine tune that stiffness. Yeah. Yeah, we're going from the, the virtual world back to the real world. Okay, right. Uh, and yeah, heading into our one of our mechanical testing labs. Um, we're doing a physical testing of, of the, the plate. So it's it's the, the same setup that you saw in the virtual test, but... Oh, okay, it, so we've done it on a computer, now we're doing it for yeah. real. So we have it set up to do a, a bending test that we can test on the uh, on the rear foot and the forefoot um, to get an idea of bending stiffness. Mm -hmm. We're using uh, data from, from riders to, to to, to load it in a realistic way. Um, and then we can then optimize that bending stiffness um, for both performance and, and, and for like plate feel uh, to, to help uh, yeah, with the, the riders uh, like lo locate the, the uh, pedal position. There you go, hopefully you've enjoyed our tour of Adidas 510 headquarters over in Germany. Let us know what your go-to mountain bike footwear is down in the comment section below.